This video may just blow your mind. You can add charts to your forms using this trick with your report link fields. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. Including charts and other reports on your forms can cut down on navigating back and forth and speed up decision making. This app from the App Exchange has two tables, the Projects table and the Task table. Projects and Tasks are related with Projects as the parent and Tasks as the child. Say I want to include a chart on the Projects table of all the tasks that are related to that project based on the percentage that are in each type of status. When I look at one of these projects, I can see that the tasks are listed in table format. Now what we want is a chart. So let's head over to our task table. On our task table, I've created a chart called status. This chart breaks down the status of every task in the task table. What we want to do is take the same chart and put it onto the project, but only filter it down to those tasks that are related to that specific project. Let's head back to the projects table. I'll open a project to access the form. Scrolling down, I'll add in another line and choose the same tasks report link type field. Then I'll choose display the related tasks directly on the form, only now I'll select that report called status. And when I save the record, I get a message that you can't quite see, but it says the following field is used more than once on this form, tasks. You do notice I have tasks listed twice, that report link field, and this is perfectly fine. We'll click OK. And now I've got a chart showing the status for all of the tasks related specifically to that project. But that's not all I can do with a report link field. This is where things get interesting. Not only can I use a report link field when I've got a parent-child relationship, but I can use a report link field on the same table where there is no relationship. Let's create a new report link field. I'll right click, add a field, select create new field. In this case, we're going to choose that report link field. Give it a name. Let's keep it simple. I'll go in and edit the properties. With the properties open, I can now choose my matching criteria. I'll start with the field in the current report. Let's say I want to match priority. So for every project with the same priority as my current project, I want to see a list of other projects with that same priority. So I'll choose priority, and then my selected target, instead of choosing another table, I'll choose the same table from the same quick base using that same priority field. With priority selected for both items, I'll click save. Now taking a look at the project info, we can see that the priority here is in fact high. The report link isn't what we want to show here, so we'll go into the custom settings, scroll down to that report link, and choose the report we want to display. Hide the label and click Save. And now you can see all projects with the same priority, including the current project. Now if I were to change that priority to medium and save, Notice the report now shows all projects with the same priority in medium. That's how you can use a report link on the same table to show a chart or report back on the form. But we can get even more creative with this. Let's say we want to show all of the records from this table on the form. In that case, you'll have to have a field that's common to all the records. So you need a field in the table where the value across all records is exactly the same. Let's head back to look at all of our projects. 
What I've done to accomplish this, because I did not have any field that was in common to all of the records, was to just create a field called common and enter the number one across all of them. This way, I knew for sure that I would have a field in common across all of the records. Now with that created, I can go back into my form. I'll update this report link to now use that common field. And save. Let's customize the form a little further. And now for that report link, let's use a chart and save. And now on my form, I've got a chart representing all of the tasks and hours allocated by project across all projects. So this could be an excellent reference to know how allocated or over allocated are we as we look at this individual project to see that big picture at the same time. Wow, I'd say getting charts on reports is awesome, but getting a chart on a report from the same table is even more awesome. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, give me a thumbs up down there in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.